day of the show. Congratulations. Who can still feel their feet? Anybody? A couple of people, maybe, so-so. All right, almost, we're almost there. So uh, congratulations for getting to this afternoon. My name is Liz Cohen. I'd like to welcome you to the Bosch Rex Roth NPS Theater. Now we all know there are many ways to put products together. And one of the hardest things for companies to do is organize in a way to be fast and ensure quality. So we're gonna have a little fun here today. First, we're going to take a look at a video clip of three of our friends. We'll call them Mo, Larry, and Curly. Uh, they're gonna be trying to put together three model Dodge Vipers as quickly as possible with zero defects and respond to changes in customer demand. Now there are 20 steps, three operators, and one quality control technician. They're professionals, so this should be a snap, right? Oh, we will see about that. Right now, I invite you to take a look at how not to assemble a model car. So what you're about to see, I'm warning you, is as bad as it gets. So please pay attention to these details. Call out the problems as you see them so we can put them on a list. Nancy will write them down. And please be as specific as you can because there's a lot to choose from here. All right? Let's take a look. So what's wrong with this picture? Reaching. What else do you see? You're just overwhelmed by how bad it is. What? Okay. What do you think? No tools. Good one. People are sitting around, standing around rather, thinking about what's for dinner. What time's the game? What else? Sharing parts. Maybe. Any kind of organization? No organization to the parts. Uh, no, there are 20 parts per car. Yeah. All right. They're just about done with this. Anything else? I'm sorry? They're going out of their station. And what's something else over here? They didn't look like they had any training. We just picked them up off the street. Okay. So that was clip number one. Now, they're about to get a rush order for a Porsche Boxster. So let's see how they manage this sudden changeover where they keep the parts, if anyone's still left standing around, any other issues. Now, remember, nothing has been corrected from the first one. So you're gonna still see the same problems, but there'll be more. All right, so let's see what we do now. Nice professional looking order. Yeah, big whoops, what's wrong with this? Moving the parts. And what's happening with those parts when they're being moved? Yeah, you're losing parts too. Now what's wrong with that? Well, they're mixing parts. He's having to lift the table. Still standing around, doing his thumbs. There's no order. We don't know which part goes with which car. Pardon? Yeah, they're digging through everything, trying to find that one right part. All right, so what? It is slow. There's an awful lot of wasted time there. All right, so now, finally, Shemp, their quality control technician, is going to come by for a little look. Let's see what happens now. Shemp says, here's this, uh, here's this car. I think there's something wrong with it. Larry's looking and looking and he doesn't know what's wrong with it. Something wrong with the hood here. What's our problem here? Does he know what's wrong with it? No, he has no clue what's wrong with it. And my guess is they probably already made a whole bunch of these. So what's going to happen? Yeah, lots of rework. Start all over from scratch. Excellent use of time, don't you think? All right, yeah, let's just start all over from the beginning. We've got all the parts just in a big pile right in front of him. Very efficient. So anything else overall stand out to you with uh, this whole scenario? Or just the 
shock of how incredibly bad it is. Poor lighting, good one. That's a very good one. And so at this point, he's just like, ah, just get out of here. I don't need this. Okay, so we put together this list of 12 things that were problematic with this workstation, if we can call it that. We had reaching, we had no tools, we had loitering, just standing around doing nothing. They were sharing parts, but of course there was no organization to those parts. They were out of their stations. They were moving and losing and mixing the parts. The table height was bad news. No organization whatsoever. Lots of wasted time. Totally clueless people. They had to rework everything, another really bad use of time, and they had pretty terrible lighting. Yeah, that's not, that's not such good news. We know that if all of our production took place in those conditions, no matter what we make, our business would be doomed, right? Well, now there's a better way to optimize manual assembly processes and implement a lean manufacturing strategy. We're very pleased to introduce MPS manual production systems from Bosch Rexroth. Anybody here already implemented or plan to implement a lean manufacturing environment? Couple? Thinking about it? All right, well, this might change your mind. We'll see. At this point, I'd like to invite our studio audience volunteers up to show you live and in person. Come on up, gentlemen. Take your stations. Thank you. Now, we're not tricking them or anything. All the tools and parts they need are here. So, uh, gentlemen, please begin. And we'll check in on them later. All right, so while they're getting to work, let's take a look at a few of the important productivity features that make the new MPS manual production systems such an improvement over current systems. These guys are going to try to do what Mo, Larry, and Curly couldn't do. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain over here. Um, they're going to they're going to try to do what they could not do in the video. Designed from the ground up to provide answers to com to common lean manufacturing problems, you're about to see why there's no better way to build a lean manufacturing cell than by implementing an MPS system from Bosch Rexroth. Every part of this system is completely configurable, so you can build exactly what you need the way you need it to be. Now as we look at our setup here, I'll be pointing out three critical elements that need to be optimized when you're designing a lean cell. Material flow, information flow, and people flow, and discussing how we make it easy to create lean cells anywhere in your manufacturing environment. So, let's start here in our first station and look at material flow. Now you'll notice that, unlike what our friends in the video experienced, all the parts in this cell are positioned within easy ergonomic reach for fast assembly. Now, that sounds logical, doesn't it? But in reality, many people still have to do extra reaching, bending, or lifting in order to create their work. And that has a detrimental effect on worker efficiency, safety, and morale, which in turn affect productivity and manufacturing costs. And of course, ergonomics encompasses more than just optimizing the reach zone and eliminating lifting. This can also include things like good lighting, we were talking about that, and things like roofed surfaces inside bins to make it easy for people to pick up small parts like washers if they don't have tweezer-like fingernails to help them out. Now, another concept that's worth examining here is that of one piece or a single piece flow. Another way of saying this is make one, move one. Now, although it seems like a natural human tendency to batch process, one piece flow often results in tremendous productivity improvement because it helps you identify production bottlenecks and eliminate them. Plus, if you make one piece at a time, you'll find your errors much faster instead of making, say, 20 pieces and then first having to redo all of them. We just saw that in the last clip when Larry realized that there was something wrong with the car's hood, or couldn't figure out what it was, and of course by that time, he'd already produced a large quantity and they will all have to be redone. The Rexroth EcoFlow conveyor, seen here and up there, makes one-piece flow easy to implement, with easy-release stops to hold parts in place while you work, several roller styles to meet your needs, and modular workpiece carrier components that allow you to tailor the workpiece palette to your system. The result? You can easily eliminate batch processing and gain better control of your assembly process. So, a simple thing like proper material flow in a lean cell can truly improve your bottom line. So now, if you look at our second workstation, you can see that information is presented so that it's easy to see and use. That is, there's good information flow. Instructions are mounted right at eye level. All parts bins are clearly labeled and arranged in the order of assembly steps. And color-coded stickers correspond to the types of products that will be assembled. Red stickers, red product. Silver stickers, silver product. Very easy to see. So the idea here is to eliminate time-wasted hunting for parts and also to avoid mistakes that can result in quality defects. 
Additionally, supplying the right information right at the workstation, such as assembly processes, work instructions, repair procedures, even production targets, allows workers to make the right decisions and act on them on the spot, limiting downtime and, say, chasing down a busy supervisor. Again, more productive time, better bottom line. So let's move on to our third area, which illustrates the flexibility of our MPS workstations, thanks to Rexroth's industry-leading aluminum framing system. Now, because the framing is designed with this groove or T-slot, Anywhere you need it, be it tool balancers, info boards, pneumatic air supply units, computer monitors, you name it, as well as easily adjust the position for the individual user. Three of these stations are constructed using the same system, but customized for the specific job each is currently being used for. Now, let's say we want to switch production from Vipers to Porsche Boxers, or vice versa. Uh, we're going to swap out the carts and continue working, rather than, say, dumping a whole new set of inventory onto the table like our friends did earlier. So we will remove the biker parts and bring in the boxer parts. And it's just that simple. All right. Seamless. So there's no intermingling of parts. And because everything is, once again, clearly labeled and organized, there's no chance for error. Now even the colored rollers give a visual cue that parts need to be replenished. But again, since all parts are supplied from the rear of the cell, there'll be no interruption to the production going on inside the work cell. Now you may notice that we did not have a specific flow highlighted in this third station, and that's because it's really encompassed by the entire setup. People flow is more related to overall cell design than this third workstation in particular can show you. You can see that a good lean cell allows for changes and improvements in production based on customer need, allowing operators to respond more effectively to customers' changing demands and still remain productive. So the goal here is to use our human resources flexibly to allow them to easily move from station to station or pass the next operator without a noticeable slowdown in production. Now we also want to eliminate wasted movement like walking all the way back to the front of the line to return the empty pallets. If you look below here, the MPS system lets gravity do that sort of for us, so our operators don't have to. So you can see that there's just no better way to build a lean manufacturing cell than the Bosch Rexroth MPS system. It is infinitely flexible, giving you unlimited options for making the most of your people and processes. So that wraps up the formal part of this presentation. How about a big hand for our gentlemen who are building the cars? Our professional builders here, nicely done. If any of you would like to build a car, you can stay to assemble your own. We uh, should be able to get to as many of you as are here. If you don't feel like putting it together here, uh, you can take the kid home with you. We just can't guarantee you'll have such a perfectly ergonomic workstation at home. So those tickets that, you, that uh, got you a seat in here, those can be exchanged for the car of your choice, either one that's already built, or building your own and taking that home, or a kit. So if you would like to build, please stay here in the seating area. If you would like a kit, you can bring that on up to Nancy and exchange it. If you would like any more information about MPS, as you leave the theater through this door, take a left to the MPS workstation, and if you have any additional questions, you can ask any of the folks in the white Bosch Rex Roth shirts, who will be happy to assist you. Have a great day, enjoy what's left of the show, and safe travels home. Thanks for visiting us today.